Well, it's no secret that Kansas Athletics has a new boss in the building this year. Some students know that Jeff Long is a big name in the athletic director game, as he was AD at both the University of Arkansas and the University of Pittsburgh. This information can be found by simply searching Jeff Long on the internet, but we wanted to hear it straight from the man himself. How are you doing today? Nick, I'm just great. That's fantastic. So, we, uh, you used to play football at Ohio Wesleyan University, and we reached out to them in their alumni magazine, got back to us with this photo here. Uh, so what memories, memory or specific memory comes to mind when you see that photo? Well, the Ohio Wesleyan University is a uh, fine Division III institution. What, I, uh, what comes to mind there is I was proud to be a starting quarterback in my freshman year, uh, but I'm also reminded of the fact that I got the worst pick of equipment. I'm wearing linebacker pads, and uh, that was made it a little more difficult to throw as a, a quarterback. What are your favorite parts about Lawrence so far with the move? You know what, I love the college town feel, and Lawrence is, a, is an awesome college town, and my wife and I have enjoyed every minute of our time here over the last four and a half, five months. Without a doubt, your biggest move is, as a new AD has been hiring Coach Miles. So why Coach Miles? What does he bring to our university? You know, as I assessed our football program and what we needed to become competitive and uh, break the cycle, as I call it, the cycle of losing, uh, we need an experienced, proven head coach, someone who had built programs, someone who knew all facets of the game that you need to uh, build in a football program. Now, the fact that he eats grass, was that brought up at all in the interview process? Absolutely. He was concerned about the strains of grass we had here in Kansas. And you know what? I was prepared for that. I brought him a tray of different grasses from around the state. You know, I had some from Salina, some from Overland Park, Dodge City, you know. And so he got to sample them. So uh, I think that was a big factor in his decision to come to KU. Uh, November 22nd, you tweeted out, Patrick, I'm a fan of at Heinz ketchup. I eat it with a fork. We wanted to see if you actually do that, so we actually have some ketchup and a fork ready for today, and I was going to try it with you. You know, I'm a big fan of ketchup. Mm, this is Heinz. I'm, I appreciate you getting my preferred brand. Now, you should know that this drives my wife and daughters crazy when they see me just get a load of Heinz ketchup. Savor it, kind of like a fine wine. Yeah. But this is outstanding. I think this is probably uh, last June's vintage of ketchup. I think they probably bottled this last June. It's very good. Well, we're on the subject of your Twitter, you tweeted out a picture of you and Brad Paisley a couple weeks ago. We were wondering, is that real or did you Photoshop that? Uh, uh, I can obviously say I do not know how to Photoshop. So it is real. Uh, Brad and I are close friends. In that picture, he was asking me about some of his uh, ideas for his nationwide commercials. And, I, you know, I shared a few things with him. And then can you explain to us uh, what this means? You tweeted out, bug, bug, chop, chop, laugh, laugh. <laughs> well, that happened to be a day uh, in, in uh, I think, November uh, that uh, our home, our new home here in Lawrence, was kind of invaded inside by wasps. And my wife called upon me for hand-to-hand -hand combat. And that uh, tweet showed that I took down two wasps in hand-to-hand -hand combat. So uh, I am, uh, you know, two confirmed kills. Uh, and so I wanted to share that on Twitter. What's your favorite emoji to use? I think it's the laughing, crying, smiley face. What's your favorite movie and why? Oh, without question, Rocky won. How could you be in athletics and not like Rocky one? Number one is the, is the uh, you know, the consummate underdog fighting and reaching that goal. And I get chills talking about it. Were you a good student in school? Uh, I was a good student. I will share. I was a 3.2 GPA, and I worked extremely hard to get that. Now, I have to ask, did you ever skip class in college? You know, I have to be very honest, and this might disappoint you, but very rarely did I skip class. If you could offer any advice to students who want to be successful, what advice would you give? That's easy. Don't skip class. <laughs> so go to class. Tell me about your first KU basketball game experience. I've been in a number of institutions, and I would tell you that they are not packed with fans and students for the exhibition games. And when I walked into Allen Fieldhouse, and again, I get chills now thinking about that, seeing this incredible uh, fieldhouse packed with students and fans, 
it, it really was exhilarating and it was it it demonstrated to me you know the power of Kansas basketball you know when you can win 14 straight Big 12 championships that's tradition of excellence so you know what it, it serves to remind me we need to strive for that level of excellence in every one of our programs and, and we will all right I'm gonna let you go on this what is the best way the students can support the athletic department and what does that support mean to you? There's nothing more important to student athletes than having their fellow students in the stands and, and really it creates the home court advantage, the home field advantage we talk about. Students lead the rest of the fans. All right, thank you so much for talking with us. Uh, we appreciate it. Can I take my ketchup with me? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Nick.